Hey, it's Kevin. We're back with another project. Uh, we're going to see if we can fix this chair. It's uh, got this this rung here has broken off inside of here, and there's not much. There's a little bit left there, but not very much to go back in. So, looks like maybe somebody put some uh, wood glue or something on there, and uh, we're going to see what we can do to get this chair to last a little bit longer. It's actually uh, one of my friends at work. Uh, asked me if I could uh, try to fix this thing for him. So it's already broke. Hey, we can't do any more damage than already done. We're gonna try to see if we can get that thing back in there and get it to last for a few more years. Hey, let's hang in there and uh, see how this thing gets fixed. I will give you a closer look. Okay, here's what we got. There's not much of it in there, but looks like it's all broke off inside. And there's no more really left here. There's a wee little bit that's going in there. So and it looks like somebody might have put a screw in here at one time. So we're going to try to pull this whole leg out of here and uh, see if we can get that little screw or whatever is in there. It looks like a screw maybe or a nail or something. We're going to see if we can get it out of there and see if we can get this all cleaned up and get this thing put back together. Okay, we'll pull this little screw out of here. Got a little screw down in here pretty tough one. Get this screw out. Let's see if this leg will come out of there. To get the leg out of there, then we can put it up here where we can work on it. Boy, that's one long screw. All right, there's our screw. Let's see if this leg will come out. All right, we'll clean this up, and I think what we'll do is we'll glue we'll glue this leg back in because it was a little wobbly. So we'll see if we can glue this one back in and get it back into place. Maybe it'll help it out. And that does look like a nail down in there. So we'll get something. See if we can dig it out. First thing we'll try is a little pair of pliers here and see if we can get this thing to move in here. We don't want to destroy too much of that because I'm gonna I'm gonna clean this out and see if I can put this back in. Because I'm not gonna build a whole new leg. I just want to get this leg to go back in and stay. But wow, that's a heck of a nail in there what it is it's a nail it's not a screw it's a tough one too yeah I got a piece of it well maybe we'll try another pair of pliers something a little grab it a little better since we got it out there a little bit more maybe we'll take a pair of vice grips and see if we can get a pair of vice grips to clamp on this thing maybe maybe a little tighter ah there we go we got her out of there now we'll just clean this out real good where we're back to all the wood it looks like it was glued in there before so we're going to glue it back in there but this time what i think i'm going to do we're going to drill a hole through this side and we'll run a screw right up inside that thing so hopefully that'll hold it back plus we'll use some gorilla glue down in there I'm trying to get all that old glue out of them cracks get it cleaned up good we'll be able to put our gorilla glue back in there all right <clears throat> now we're just going to work on this side try to get all that glue that was on there off we'll work on this bottom hole where they had it in we'll clean all that out of there i don't think they were glued i think they were just stuck down in there I'm not sure but we're gonna glue it back in there all right I think that looks pretty good 
Probably got a bunch of junk down in my hole again. That's better. All right. We're gonna get us some glue, a little bit of Elmer, or uh, some Gorilla glue. Maybe they'll hold a grill. Maybe they'll hold this chair. I hope. The guy that owns this chair, he's as big as a grill, so we gotta make sure it holds in. Okay, we put us a little Gorilla glue on there. I want to try to get that hole lined back up where it was. So when it, I put that screw back in there. I want that screw to go back in the same hole. So we'll get that screw tightened back up in there. Line it up with that leg. Now this Gorilla Glue supposedly swells up pretty big. I mean I just started using it on some of the things I got here. Some of the projects. There goes my clamp. I don't know if you guys can see that, but we're putting it back in the same hole it was before. Okay, now we'll just take some Gorilla Glue. Okay, now that we got that in, what we'll do is we'll get some glue up in here. Get some on this end. I know it's probably going to make a mess because it swells up in there. Get that back in the same hole it was before. Which that looks pretty good. We'll get a rag here and wipe that off. Get that glue cleaned off of there. I don't know if it'll take that clear coat off or not. And then we'll take us a clamp. We'll get us a clamp on it. Alright, somewhere along the line there, uh, the battery went dead in the camera. So, we got new batteries in it. I don't know about you guys, but it seems like them batteries go dead pretty daggone quick. So, now we're going to, we got it clamped here. We're going to leave it set for a while. Let that sit up a little bit in there. And then uh, we're going to drill through this side and put us a screw in there. And we'll try to, try to hide it the best I can. So we'll see what we can do with it. Okay, <clears throat> we're going to try drilling us a hole through here. I don't know how straight I can get it, but we gotta get right down the center of that uh, this little piece here. So we're gonna give it a shot. Keep it in mind, it's already broke. I'll keep cleaning that wood out of that bit. We'll just keep cleaning it out until we get that bit to go all the way in. Okay, we didn't come out anywhere, so I guess we're inside the wood. That'll help our screw go in. What we're going to do now is we're going to take a little bigger bit. I don't have a lot of wood bits, but we'll, we'll countersink that in there just a little bit. We countersink it in there, we'll try to hide okay. that screw. Alright, here we go. I just want it deep enough I can cover that screw up with something. Well, I think that's deep enough. So what I'll do is I'll come back and I'll re-drill that again with my other bit. Make sure that it's going to go all the way in. Here it goes. Alright, we should be able to put that screw right down in. I would use a... Um, drill and put this in but I'm not sure I might go too fast with it or something I'd rather just take my time and I can hear the wood if it starts to crack or whatever hopefully this will hold it up good I mean you got and if you see a chicken walk around in here that's kind of a pet chicken it's called she's called Miss Press she kind of does what she wants around here. She walks around looking for food. She eats a lot of spiders off the floor. But we let her do what she wants. She can retire. 
in my garage. What you want, girl? Look at her. She's just walking around looking for spiders. Okay, we can get this uh, clamp off now. Get rid of it. That's going to hold it in there good right now, I'm sure. We've got a screw down there, so this thing should be uh, good to go here in not too long. Probably wondering what I'm doing here. I'm going to make a plug for where that screw goes on there. Now I know they have tools out there that'll cut these plugs right out and be real quick and easy and well guess what? I ain't got the tool. So we're just gonna whittle us out a piece of wood. We're gonna make it fit. And then uh, we're gonna glue it in there so we can hide that screw. This is gonna be right out in the front and everybody's gonna okay, see. Okay, we whittled us out a little plug and let me see if I find it right here. That's what it looks like. It's just a wee little plug, little wooden plug. And we're going to put a little bit of glue on it. We're going to dab it with a little bit of glue on the back side of it. And see if we can get it to go back in that hole. We'll put it right down inside there. Now if it's not level, we'll, uh, we'll sand it off just a little bit. So it don't look too bad. It looks better than a screw. Let's see if I can get you a better look here. That's not too bad. We're not a woodworker. I'm not a woodworker. So there's our plug. Okay. There's uh, what it looked like finished up. We sanded it off, put a little bit of clear on it. I think it looks pretty good. I'm not really uh, good at the woodworking, but... I think this chair right, will hold up. There's another project done. It's uh, a chair and it's fixed. I think it should hold up for a long time. A few more years you get out of it, hey, you ain't got to buy a new chair. So uh, I want to tell everybody thanks for watching and uh, thanks for the subscribers. And uh, don't forget, thumbs up or thumbs down. I know this is not something you're used to me uh, working on, but uh, hey, listen, you never know what you're going to see on my channel. I'll tell you that right now. You can find anything. Even a chicken in the background running around. You know, good little chicken. She still lays an egg every day. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. You guys all have a good day.